Well, good evening, my beans, spleens, and vaccines. Welcome to Kluki Thuki Wookie. Today we're going to do something absolutely beautiful, apart from smelling your amazing smell. Yes, indeed, you do smell amazing. I can't smell it from here. Then you ask, how can you do that? <laughs> A wizard never reveals his trick, especially the smelly one. By the way, did you know that this this one is coming out on the 23rd of November? The glow-in-the-dark emotional support demon. Check out the link. It might be up by now, but you can look at it in the countdown timer and be like, Oh my god, I can't wait for this. My life will be complete, which it will. Indeed. Look out for the glow-in-the-dark emotional support demon on 23rd of November. Anyway, today we're going to do something absolutely beautiful. We're going to look into r slash confidently incorrect and a little bit of sprinkle of Facebook science on top of it because they just converge so nicely because I love this kind of things. It's so alien. I really want to make D&D adventures based on the things I find in these subreddits. Uh, keep an eye out for rambunctious D&D adventures. Enjoy. Mwah. That'd be so much fun, though. I want to make a D&D adventure that's like Flat Earth. And the quest is to find the edge. But everyone is trying to stop them and they have to overcome this conspiracy. I can legitimately turn this into a D&D campaign. <laughs> is the theory of evolution is real? Grammar isn't real, apparently. If yes, is it all animals still can? Evolution with their new form? That's the question. Why chicken never evolution? Becomes dinosaur again? Or something else? And human becomes monkey again? Ha 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 ha! Are you laughing because your questions are ridiculous? Or are you laughing at the grammar? I can I cannot tell. This is amazing. I mean, one thing that made dinosaurs go vamoosh is the fact that there was asteroid hit that kind of covered the whole atmosphere, reduced the amount of food and plants and everything, which meant that only creatures of a certain pretty small stature were able to survive. And since then, we haven't really had an evolution of as large creatures. And if you think about, for example, bugs, they can't exist if the landscape doesn't have enough oxygen in it. So bugs that were as big as back in the dinosaur area can literally not exist today, even if we just, like, teleported them here from the past times, because there's too little oxygen for their anatomy to work. Fun fact! There are many fun explanations. Fun. You can watch documentaries about this. Or you can write th these kind of posts. <sighs> They're not equally valid. The moon is on fast forward today. All the 28 days, all the 28 faces of the moon, you see right here. Everything that happens in a month, in a subtle way, is happening right here. Okay. When such a fast forward is happening, many things are changing. One thing that you will notice is that the food, when I say food, I mean your body. Food is your body in making, what? isn't it? The food, particularly the cooked food, will go through the phases of its deterioration much, much more rapidly in a subtle way than it does on a normal day much more rapidly, but in a subtle way, than it does in a normal way. But then, I don't think you can have rapidly and subtly at the same time. I don't know, man. I think you could very easily disprove this by just doing a very simple sample. Here we have a bunch of eggs. They go bad this this fast. Uh, did it change during during eclipses? Probably not. But what would be, like, the point of this theory? Like, what is, what's the purpose of, of this? Don't have stuff in your fridge during a full moon? Is that... Is that, is that it? He said ladies, not men who pretend they're women. <laughs> if you don't have the X, Y, you're not a lady. Get over yourself. <laughs> oh my god, I was trans all along. Ah. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen anyone Dunner Kruger something so hard for a little while. It is refreshing. I love this, a candlelight gazing. Did you know IG- Nope. Gazing at candlelight before bed has powers, since fire is the closest thing to natural sunlight. The photoreactive gland in our brain known as the pineal gland. I have heard that before in these posts. Why are they so obsessed with pineal glands? Or third eye. Okay, is stimulated by the flame and releases trace amounts of DMT. What is DMT? What is DMT? DMT is a naturally occurring compound found in certain plants or animals, including some tree barks and seeds. It also produces by our own bodies in small amounts and can be made artificially in labs. DMT is a mind-altering substance in the hallucinogen family. <laughs> Wait a second, are you telling me that if I stare into a candlelight, I will just like be on hallucinogens? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Hallucinogenic drugs can change a person's reality, causing dramatic changes in mood, thought, and emotions. It is sometimes called the spirit molecule because its use can result in special and spiritual experiences. I mean, I don't think you get this from staring into a candle. I'm just gonna be honest there. Man, if you sell scented candles that give you like a DMT experience, I would assume 
They're not like particularly legal. What do you put in those candles, fam? And releases trace amounts of DMT. After a few minutes of gazing into the flame intently, one goes into a trance accompanied by intuition, deep thoughts and insights from other realms. This works best when the candle is pure and non-toxic, such as carnibua or 100% pure beeswax. Is this just a scheme to sell like trippy ass candles? Is that what this is? Go to my shop! and buy these freaking psychedelic scented candles. Oh my God, what a business. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Is that just what it is? They're telling people that if you stare into it, it's just your body creating this, but in fact, they just crammed a bunch of chemicals into this candle. It's non-toxic. That's why you're tripping balls right now. God, this is amazing. This is my favorite post so far. Today is November 7th, and Joe Biden is the worst president in U.S. history. U.S. history clearly not your strong point, Dano. <laughs> you are. How embarrassing for an author like you. Uh, let's go back to the first sentence real quick, shall we, and test out the theory. History clearly not you are strong point, Dano. So you can tell by this that this is indeed the right way of using your and the commenter confidently and correctly correcting Stephen King <laughs> about basic grammar is indeed wrong. Who would have thunk it? This is by far the most confusing meme ever. If there was a message, it is not very clear. I think OP is just proudly outing themselves as anti-vax. <laughs> Proud I never got the jab. I am pure blood. Mm. Anyone who refers to it as the jab has immediately lost their rights to breed. Stupid breed stupid. And you know what? You've proven that you're pure blooded idiots. <laughs> Well, it is jabbed in your arm, and the government referred to it as the jab. Like, no jab, no job. Wh what? Vaccinated are infertile, so don't go near them. That is... What, what, you have to stay away from infertile people now? That is... Okay, I've never heard that before. That's wild. But how, though? What compounds in the vaccine explicitly target human reproductive capabilities? And how will they be effective versus both set of gonads? The vaccine added a new strand to the DNA. The original has 144,000 complete sequence how people have extra, so they are GMO humans. Look up the Queen of England turning on the tree lights. What? When was this post made? Imagine thinking making yourself vulnerable to deadly preventative diseases makes you a stud. To be fair, being an anti-vaxxer to begin with is crazy and delusional AF. Unvaccinated blood and sperm will be like the next Bitcoin. I mean, to be fair, I have seen one meme post of one car who wrote it in the back of their window, like, PURE BLOOD! I sell my splooshy loads for $3,000 a pop. Either anti-vaxxers are so incredibly loaded they can just throw away money at, like, literally whatever. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy splooshies from this random anti-vaxxer and his car. That's, <laughs> that's a good way to spend my money. Or it's just deranged and he's not actually selling anything. I like to hope and pray that it is uh, the latter. A hundred thousand kilometers. It's only an achievement in miles. Kilometers is cheating. Same distance, different measurement, Limafau. You can cheat if you go literally the exact same distance. I can't even tell, like, who's arguing what here. Like, the number would obviously be different if you do it in miles or kilometers. And if the purpose is just to have a meter reach 100,000, then of course you're gonna reach it at different times because it's different distance. But the distance in itself is, of course, the same. It's just different measurements. What, what are they even arguing about? <laughs> I am so glad we spend our time discussing the true issues of the world. <laughs> mm. Reminds me of a CNN article that mentions how much something was in British pounds, and in parentheses after, simply wrote the word dollars. Oh, because otherwise everyone would think it's like weight because of pounds in the Merca. Okay, well that could actually be a good clarification, although if they're talking about money, that, that should be relatively obvious. After the loop, there's some clip of some influencer stuff, I guess. I'm pretty sure he did not actually own any of them, and they were just rentals. Common strategy for the fake rich influencers. <laughs> of course he owned them. And how is the flashy rich influencer when his school is literally making him millions of dollars? That ain't fake. And the fact you compare him to those fake rich influencers is just ridiculous. If you don't like Tate, then that's fine. But saying that you're becoming the people who you say you dislike. I am posting a source that you can understand. They even try to spin this in a positive way. Just make this worthy r slash confidently correct. And here's a link to Sports Matter. Boxing News. I don't own the Bugatti 
Buddy, Andrew Tate never really owned his 33 supercard, reveals his genius social media strategy. This is just the exact same thing that Dan Bilzerian did a few years ago, you know, and it was just rentals and fancy hotels and things, and you post it to an Instagram. You know, the super stereotypical playboy kind of dream, but everything is just faked and rent, and eventually everything came crumbling down. I suppose it's very similar. Don't trust social media. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, it's almost Black Friday, you know what that means? Raycons, baby! Woo! Raycon has really made a name for themselves in the premium audio industry with products like their everyday earbuds and everyday headphones, plus their new line of Raycon Home and Raycon Power Tech products like the Magic 180 charging cable and their faucet filter. They provide premium tech products at a great price. Their products have earned tens of thousands of five-star reviews. You can use them to, for example, listen to The Click ASMR. The evil guy always gets his hopes up and gets a bit too overconfident. And... Yamalicious! Isn't that just an experience for the history books? Raycon now has an early Black Friday promotion across their entire site, with 20% off everything and select products up to 50% off. Get an early start on holiday sales by shopping Raycon's early Black Friday sale today. Go to buyraycon.com slash to click to get 20 to 50% off site-wide. Thank you so much, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the memes. Mwah. A 1,400-year-old ginkgo tree at a Buddhist temple in China. Ginkgo trees can live up to 3,000 years. <laughs> it's 2022, as in 2022. <laughs> Curious to know how we know it can live up to 3,000 years old. <laughs> oh, God. People on Twitter can't handle my voluptuous brain power. I mean, four sake, even if you want to use, like, the boo as a source, year zero is just when Jesus was born. Like, even according to your own, what I'm assuming is the source material you're using, even then you're wrong! Like, fam, what the fuck? Hey, I can solve the one question that scientists go to college for 12 years and work their life for. What is the origin of Earth? The Bible. Just read it. See, I saved 300,000 and avoided 12 years of school for nothing. I would like to see this dude apply for jobs with this qualification. Tragically, this isn't as bad as an idea as you think it is. But what, what do you mean the origin of the Earth? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I think like how planets form are pretty well established. I don't know anyone who goes to school for 12 years to figure out how planets are formed. That's pretty established. Narrator voice. He had not read the Bible. Yeah, mo most of them haven't, to be honest. It it's just kind of like, a, like, a, ha ha. This is a source. I haven't read myself. But as long as there are no follow-up questions, <laughs> I'm gonna use this. Only the brainwashed individuals continue to lapoon reality. Honestly speaking, if you weren't told as a little child that the earth is spinning, you would have never believed such foolishness on your own. To anyone in their right senses, it is pretty obvious that the earth is perfectly still. People are moving, cars are moving, helicopters and planes are moving, sun, moon and stars are moving above a stationary earth. When the simplest things in life shows the biggest lies, the earth is not a spinning globe. And here's a picture of someone having a pool on a car, because that's the thing apparently, and when they jump they fly backwards. Oh, how could this be? It blows my mind. Well, let's explain it together, shall we? When will you jump up, which I'm surprised you can actually stand there in the first place, it's, it's very windy. Which means that when you lose contact with a thing that is actually accelerating you forward against the air resistance, you're gonna feel like you're flying backwards in comparison to the car, because the car is constantly accelerating forward, cancelling out the air resistance, but you no longer have a force pushing you forward, so the only force that is applied to you, apart from gravity, is air resistance straight forward, so you will accelerate backwards until you come to a standstill. When you just stand on Earth, this doesn't really happen the same way because the atmosphere moves in the same direction and the same speed you do. I mean, of course, you have a bit of wind and stuff, but not, not like this. The whole atmosphere isn't standing still and we're just spinning on the ball and the atmosphere still stands still. That would be like the, the equivalent to this, which isn't the case. I mean, for God's sake, you could have done this experiment like inside the car where you don't have like the air resistance to account for because that's not a thing that, that happens when you're just standing on Earth with the atmosphere that is spinning with the Earth. You know, and then you get tossed the ball up and be like, wow, I can catch this ball even when I'm sitting on a train. Isn't that mind boggling? You know, you were almost there with the experiment, but then you f***ed it up. God damn it. 
pizza shrinks when cooked? This is not rocket science. People who measure their food are frick T-words. Okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> No, it doesn't. It expands. Source, I worked in a pizza place for a few years and I was a lead baker of a bakery. Dough expands when baked. Also, they don't cook, they bake. Apparently, it is rocket science when it comes to you. What kind of pizza are you buying, man? My god. Can you solve this? 90% fail to answer. 2 plus 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 2 times 0 plus 2 is question mark. Can you solve this? <laughs> Two. Everything before x0 is irrelevant. <laughs> Simple rule of math. That's why the answer is 200. Type emoji. Is that like an Italian flag? Light bulb and peace sign. What? My dear, good person. You multiply first and then you do addition. That is the order of operation. So the only two that turns into zero is the one that's literally adjacent to the zero. Everything else is just plus two. My god. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a little other piece of my brain that just fell out. Wow. No, nature itself and the planets and stars prove there is a master designer holding everything in place. If the sun was one inch closer to the earth, we would burn. No, we vary in much more distance than that because it's not like a perfect circle. It's kind of elliptical, you know, our circle around the sun. And the Goldilocks zone is a thing, you know, the planet just needs to stay in between when water freezes or when it boils, you know, as long as there's liquid water, it's fine, basically. That's the basic theory for life in the Goldilocks zone. So th there is a span, you know, when water can have slightly different temperatures and life can still theoretically exist. So meh like we have winter and summer and stuff like come on fam the distance between the sun and the earth changes by far more than one inch over a year's time oh they also say if it was one inch further away we would freeze <laughs> you don't think the earth's orbit could vary more than this like god an elephant could sneeze and we would die to believe in the theory of evolution would take an incredible the distance between the sun and earth changes by far more than one inch over a year's time and <laughs> nope Lol, yes, it changes by way more than an inch. <laughs> God. The internet is beautiful in so, so many ways. For example, it gives everyone a voice. The internet is also so ugly in so many, many ways in that it gives everyone a voice. Sharing another tip that y'all might find helpful. This bag of croutons is one point for one tablespoon, which isn't much as is. However, I learned that if I crush the croutons in my food processor and then put them back in the bag, then scooping out one tablespoon for a salad still gives me a crunch and I can get a lot more this way. Well worth the one point or two points for two tablespoons. If you're going to crush them, you would have to weigh it to get an accurate point value. A tablespoon of whole croutons is going to weigh less and be worth fewer points than a tablespoon of crushed ones. Oh, is this like some calorie counting stuff, I think? Okay, yeah, then it definitely makes a difference. Like the density of what you put in a tablespoon is gonna vary. A tablespoon is the same weight no matter what is being measured. So a tablespoon of lead would weigh the same as a tablespoon of croutons? Not how I learned science and math, but you do you. <laughs> I love that ending, like, I just not a lie, I learned it, but go ahead, I guess, whatever. <laughs> People choose the dumbest little mud piles you would call a hill to die on, I swear to God. The oldest living shark, older than the USA. <laughs> Bro, how is the shark older than the USA? <laughs> I doubt the shark has been alive for 2023 years. Uh, what? The Earth and USA was created 2023 years ago. I doubt the shark was the first person alive. Yes, indeed. You think year zero was the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? <laughs> it was the birth of America and also the birth of the world. God made Earth and then also made US at the same time. That... that <laughs> God, this is great! This is so good! It's hilarious how many of you miss the issue, second sentence, first option. Yeah, you're in no position to make demands. Just do as you're told. Oh no! Cross-posting from another Starfield group, I hope you are all smarter than this guy and the 17,000 likes, practically agreeing with his them to point out an error in grammar that happens to be correct. Oh, what I think happened is he probably read the first part of the sentence, where they actually used the correct you are, but not the second one, and then they reposted it and be like, ha, you're actually the one who's stupid. But in reality, they were the stupid one all along. Don't worry, I have the perfect meme to correct for this very human mistake. Zero. Ah. <laughs> oh.
Nailed it. You have probably caught being gay from an early childhood vaccine. <laughs> yeah, it's those rainbow shots. Vaccines are loaded with embryonic stem cells. Vaccines with made from male cells given to baby girls. Female cells given to baby boys. They're destroying us from birth. Oh, that's a pretty gross insinuation. You're suggesting that gay people are destroyed. That's a pretty nasty wording. You should probably have read this before posting it. But you're also vastly incorrect. <laughs> We have rainbow vaccines now. <laughs> can you imagine that? You can just come in with your baby to the doctor and be like, yeah, you know, we need a standard tetanus shot and that kind of stuff. And they're like, ooh, but we have this new rainbow. You can decide the sexuality for your child or you can decide as an adult. Can I take it now? Can I take a rainbow shot now and turn gay? Is that a thing that exists, dear poster? I would love to see this person like expand on their ideas because I think it would just be more and more unhinged and it would be so entertaining. Super Ninja Turtles? They used to be called that. No, they, they weren't. Yes, they were in the 90s. A quick Google search proves you wrong. They were always Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What do you think Google is for? I'm just saying not all sources are credible or have all the info. Then show me like a singular source that supports your point. For God's sake, sources can't be trusted. So I just use this alternative method of just making shit up. It is much more reliable. Actually, the coldest place ever found in the universe is in a lab because we made it as cold as possible. <laughs> We've come nowhere close to making it as cold as possible. We were 0.15 Kelvin away from it in a lab. You know this information is free, right? It's absolute zero. It's a pretty well-established point. And that is actually true. Cold is just the absence of heat. So normally it would be hard to find this, you know, naturally occurring because you would have to take energy away from somewhere. Which in the universe that always strives to like equalize things, you know, thermodynamics and that kind of stuff, it's kind of tricky to come by. Maybe it exists out there somewhere we haven't discovered, but so far, yeah, laboratory dish, baby. YouTube plays ads every two to five minutes. They are not shorter, but significantly more frequent and not always skippable. The TV plays about eight minutes of ads for every 22 minutes of content and none of them are skippable. Oh, that brings me back. One of the things I started doing at home with my dad was that we started to like pre-record shows. We had this like little schedule recorder device and then we would just start recording like 15 minutes before the show started so we could always have a 15 minute total of like skipping ahead time. So when you started a show 15 minutes late on your pre-recorded thing, you could always skip the ads. It was such a life hack. Huh? What is your source? This is clearly way, way off. And yes, most ads are still skippable. What, on the TV? What are you talking about? Source? Just be old enough. <laughs> God, kiddo. Go look at the time length of an episode of a show that's originally aired on TV, but is now on a streaming service. You will see that the episode length is about 22 minutes on all of them, but TV shows start every 30 minutes. So what do you think fill the extra 8 minutes if not ads? And no, ads are not skippable on TV unless you're watching something that already aired and you're recording to watch later. Yes, it's like life hacks! That was all that brings me back. Well, not really. The ads were, the ads were like a little bit overbearing, but like... Uh, Brings me back in a weird way. Or those times we were watching with other kids and it was always like running for the popcorn or something and doing other things. And then like your sibling or friend or something just yells from the room, The show is coming back on! Hurry, Timmy! It's like, oh my god, I'm missing my show. <sighs> Brings me back to like the 90s, man. You can't just fast forward in time to skip the ads that are currently being broadcast. It sure should have been. I was alive before the internet was in every residence, along with explaining the reason. Yeah, th that's like a valid source, isn't it? Source. I'm just old. Ariana World News. At Ariana Grande is now the female artist with the most monthly Spotify listeners with over 38 million listeners. <gasps> More than five times the world population? She did that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's easy, I suppose, to mix together millions and billions, but I also find it absolutely hilarious that no one found anything wrong with that. Like, oh my god, she's so popular that five times the world's population listens to the music. Uh, wow. <laughs> the little Martians tuning in too, and they love it. Grandma fell down the stairs. Why did you take a photo? <laughs> None of you guys realize it was the same person that was commenting to herself asking why did you take the photo? But I'm just going to pretend like I'm stupid just like the rest of you. Uh, that means she just saw the response. Oh, because there's like a little face photo like underneath the reply as well. Which I'm guessing is just a red notification. It's not actually that it's the same person. That would be really inconsistent with profile picture sizes and all that kind of stuff. So 
No, you are incorrect, good sir. Fun fact, plants are sentient. Many experiments have proven that in the past. Really, just look it up. Probably lost in translation. Not necessarily. A moron. Sintiente uh, equals can feel, which they can and they are. Too similar to sentient, which is consciousness and awareness, which they aren't. Yeah, stuff like that can very easily get mixed up between languages and like picked up things from Latin and that kind of thing. Different things can mean very different things in different parts of the world as well, even if they sound very similar. It's pretty fascinating. It also makes you say really stupid stuff sometimes. Like, damn. <laughs> When you think you have figured something out in a language and you confidently proclaim it and it just means something completely different because of slang or something like that that it would never pick up from like a class or a book. <laughs> <laughs> I may have done that once or twice. Artist did a beautiful rendition. The fleur de lys really compliments the flower. I hope you like it. Compliments. I haven't joined this sub and I found this post through the Reddit algorithm. I just came here to tell you I laughed at your posts because you have the audacity to correct them on their spelling. When you're wrong yourself, <laughs> they're right, it's compliments. Um, no, it's compliments, actually. Compliment makes something perfect or complete. Compliment say something nice or praising. <sighs> when someone thinks they're correcting someone confidently but are incorrect themselves, oh, it's just like the inception of confidently incorrect that <gasps> just fuels me. <laughs> I am sorry, but number five is just dumb. <laughs> we live in America where Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday. It's an American holiday, babes. No, American education at work, y'all. Oh my god, I love how you are so confident in your idiocy. Multiple countries celebrate Thanksgiving. Oh, honey, it is also a Canadian holiday where it's always on a Monday, specifying that the word American was, in fact, relevant. You know, I would probably just Google first before looking silly. Like, I know nothing about these holidays, really. I'm not from a country that cel celebrates Thanksgiving. But, like, if I was gonna make a statement about this and be like, Oh my god, how dare you specify? I would just Google. It's so easy. It takes, like, ten seconds to not look like a poo. Huh? You wouldn't want high BTU on your AC. That would be a heater. BTU is still the usage of measurements for air conditioners. It's the amount of energy it's required to remove the heat from an area. Cold doesn't exist. It's just an absence of heat. So time isn't real either, since it's just a measurement? What do, what do you mean? It's not a- it's like a cold is basically slang because that's how we experience it. You know? G why? Not exactly. Time doesn't require energy to move from one thermal state to another. Oh, cringe! This guy doesn't know about heat's effects on time dilation. Okay, but now, now you're talking about completely different things. Clearly I'm talking to someone who hasn't studied entropy beyond the 16th grade! What does that have to do with cold not being the inverse of energy? Cold just means absent of energy. When something reaches the absolute zero, that means that when it has no energy left. And we would see it as cold, and sometimes we think of cold and heat as reverse, because for example, if you measure in Celsius, a zero is when water freezes. So sometimes in your brain, you might translate that to like, oh, minus 20 degrees, that's like negative energy because stuff freezes and it's cold and it requires heat to warm up again. But it's in fact not. It's just the scale of like less and less and less energy, basically. I don't know what that has to do with, uh, with time and the, the speed of particles in various temperatures. You're being silly <laughs> and very confidently so. It's sad how most of them died, but we don't care. I want my Eevee to be level 50. <laughs> Eevee, sorry if I'm a Nord. If you want to correct someone, at least do it correctly. <laughs> I mean, I have misspelled Eevee like that many times, it just feels like it shouldn't be too easy in front of the V, but... But here we are, baby. Unpopular opinion, menstruation edition. Ooh, I'm calling it. This one is just gonna be something grossly factually incorrect, but it's gonna be stated as an opinion. Let's get into it, shall we? Women aren't even supposed to have menstrual cycles. I called it. God, I called it. This is your womb cleaning itself monthly from all the acidic foods, neurotoxin, and radiation we endure on a daily basis. So, so menstruation is radiation? <laughs> what? Alkaline vegans and fruitarians barely ever menstruate. I mean, if you want to go that route, it, you can stop menstruating and stuff if you're like very malnourished and that kind of thing. So if I think that's what they experience, they probably have other issues and they should probably see a doctor and a nutritionist about it. For all your white recessive females in my DMs that contain Neanderthal DNA, I cannot speak for you beings, but my ancient African ancestors did not menstruate. This is something that did not occur until recently due to the amount of acidic toxins we breathe and consume in every day. I would love to see this person try to define an acidic toxin. 
You know, whenever someone talks about toxins, you know, oh, this will cleanse your toxin, acidic toxin, you only menstruate for toxins. If they can't actually define what freaking toxins they're even talking about, they're full of poo, which is in fact not a toxin, it's just poo. Fact, IG, lol, nope, I love the censoring of the credit, it's so beautiful. <laughs> You know, normally, I would say something like, credit the creators, please. But in this instance, I'm also kind of like, don't don't spread misinformation. The, these accounts should not be promoted. <laughs> it is impossible for the Earth to run out of fresh water. Today, we are purposefully not taught about the primary water cycle, which has five times more fresh water than all the world's oceans combined. This information is hidden due to Agenda 2030 and the fact that Scarcity sells. Where would this water be, though? What are you, is this a conspiracy that says like the water, the globe is a big water ball or something? We live on top of a water balloon. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to see that theory go go head to head with flat Earth. That would be really entertaining. Oh, I think I've seen this image before. Vaccines cause I don't know what that says. Infertility, maybe. Vaccines cause autoimmune disease. Vaccine cause seizures. Vaccines cause SIDS. Vaccines cause ADHD, autism, death, <laughs> that's very straightforward, L cause learning disability, and I don't know what that last one says, shlalamam, I don't, I don't freaking know, champagne maybe. Can you imagine how incredibly insufferable it would be to sit around a table with these people? Like, I know most methods of torture and stuff is pretty outlawed by now, but I think you can probably sneak around that law by just having these this bunch sit around the coffee table and be like, you have to sit here and have coffee with these fine ladies for 20 minutes, and then just need you to tear your own hair out and be like, I'll tell you everything you need to know, please! God, I hate people like this. I swear to God there should be a license for having kids, which obviously wouldn't work well in practice. We have discussed that previously on the channel. <laughs> I remember even talking about it once and be like, people need a license to be able to drive, but people still do stupid things. I don't know, man, I don't know. At the center of the North Pole is a whirlpool where four rivers breathe in and out every single Six hours. This is the reason for the tides. Our compass also points to that giant magnetic mountain. <laughs> it's just a big mountain that is just a magnet. Oh my god. This is a really cool map though. I kind of want to use this for a D&D &D adventure. Can you imagine that? You come to the center where you have a final boss or some kind of challenge or something, but regular weapons don't work because you have magnet mountain, so all your weapons and stuff just get stuck to the walls and shit. So you have to go there with like wooden weapons and improvised stuff or like use spells with your bare hands. That'd be kind of a fun twist. I want to do a magnet mountain dungeon. And then maybe towards the end of the adventure, they manage to disable the magic magnet mountain. So uh, so they get all their stuff back, you know. But this could be a really cool spin. Cool map. Uh, bonkers that this is being applied as science and not just a D&D adventure. Here is a photo from what I'm assuming is an airplane. The first time I saw your post, this I thought, wow, that's beautiful. And then I thought it looks like there is a slight curve to it. So this time I took a straight edge to it and it appears to have a curve. The 2D circular flat field of view around you is not physical Earth curve. We see the same distance in all directions. That will create a circle around you, not curvature. We see the same distance in all directions due to perspective. How the frick do these people explain not being able to see across the oceans to other continents? <laughs> Last I heard, the running theory involved water mountains, which sounds absolutely terrifying. It's not only a wave, it's like a still standing mountain of water. Can you imagine coming up to that in like a little sailboat and be like, Uh oh, <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Men are ones and women's are zeros. What happens when you try to put a zero before a one? You get a decimal value. But what happens when you put a one before a zero? You ten times what you originally started with. That's why men must come first as far as being taken care of. Not first in competition, but first in the process of co-creation. Now at the same time we know zero existed before one. What are you talking about? As everything originated from zero. I don't even know what you're on about. You're, you're completely completely bonkers. At the same time, zero has no value until it's standing behind a one. Oh, you're saying that women has no value unless they're standing behind the man and you're using like a really whack comparison between randomly picked numbers to explain that. Wow. When a woman stands behind a man and supports him like a zero behind a one, the manifestation power becomes exponential. Well, it's not... It's, what? This is why it's vital for men and women to understand the energetic roles of masculine and feminine. So instead of moving in fractions as a society, we can expand exponentially and infinitely as wholes. Ooh! Ooh, I can try this with like random comparison that don't make sense. Alright, uh, men are mud and women 
are trees. So you see, without the women's roots tying the mud together, everything would just be mudslides. You see, men are more gooey without women. You see, anyone can make up stupid comparisons. It doesn't make them particularly true. You know, usually you would do this with a pedagogical mindset. You know, you create a model of a physical construct or, or you use like metaphors to explain something that follows a similar pattern. Like for example, if you want to be pedagogical, you can sort of explain electricity by comparing it to the flow of water. You know, oh, resistance in electricity, you can kind of compare it to like the holes where the water flows through gets smaller, so it's harder to push through it, hence resistance, right? You can use these kind of metaphors to explain stuff that might otherwise be hard to imagine but it doesn't really work like this though <laughs> you know uh, women are like grass and men are like cows because when men poop and women are like below them you see that's that's the whole metaphor and then when men poop down that fertilizes it and makes them grow stronger <laughs> you see <laughs> Why are the chemtrails left by jets not curved as they fly over the Earth at the same altitude for 50 to 100 miles? Hmm? Explain that, which is like, which is, which is really simple because, you know, the Earth is so big that the small portion you're standing on looks flat from your local perspective because, you know, the curvature is so negligible for the amount of distance you can see. There we go, next meme, please. First man on the moon was Neil Armstrong's cameraman. Um, that's, that's Aldrin. Neil is filming. Got these, like, really silly things that have such a sillily, easily explanation. But they didn't even bother Googling it. They went straight to conspiracy. Or, I suppose, like, cameraman. There are mysterious cameramen on the moon. <gasps> they left their prints everywhere. Look, if you zoom in on the dollar, it kind of looks like a snake skin. The fact that non-human entities are the ones trying to take the planet as their own and depopulate humans is the only fact that makes sense of this madness. What, what madness? Yet folks refuse to knowledge, cause it's impossible. They always show you. And here's a clip from something completely random. So lizard people are taking over the globe because there is a pattern on a dollar bill that if you squint really hard, might look like a snake skin. And that's why humans are depopulating. Another question, where can I find non-CGI pictures of complete satellites before launch? Google has none! What did you search for? There are literally thousands of images with a simple search like satellite assembled before launch image. Here are some examples. None of these will hold at 15,000 miles per hour. You do realize the friction these objects would endure, don't you? They would be on fire. You need air to have air resistance, Karen. Waka baka ba. Stop drinking liquids during meals. It disrupts digestion, dilutes your naturally occurring digestive enzymes, which makes it harder to break down food. Food. Mucus builds up from food unable to be properly broken down and digested. Food not broken down properly during digestion will start to ferment, which leads to the growth of bacteria, causes bloating. You should drink some apple vinegar in a glass of water about 30 minutes before dining to help the digestion. Oh my god, like of course you can get a bit bloated if you drink a lot of water, like okay fine, but fam, I don't, I don't, I, this ain't it, this ain't it. Here is this very famous space picture of flying off into space without a tether, which is a very infamous picture. Moments before the immense gravitational pull of the sun sucked him mercilessly into the fiery ball, unless he had diverted into a of yet unknown identified black hole, similar to the virus. <laughs> this is like four conspiracies crammed into one! It doesn't even make sense, even if you're like super conspiracy. What the hell? I mean, I was gonna explain how the orbit around the Earth works in a way that you have a speed in one direction and the gravity pulls you down, so you're essentially falling over the horizon. That's kind of like how an orbit works, if you want to think about it that way. But they're not even talking about the Earth, they're talking about the Sun. As if, if you're just outside the Earth atmosphere, which is a very negligible distance difference between, you know, the Sun and just being on the surface of the Earth, you would just be like sucked into the sun instantly. It's too far away, fam. The, the strongest gravity when you're in Earth's orbit is Earth. Britney is a guy. It has no boobs and talks and sounds like a man. I swear to God, there's this super weird trend of really silly people online that have this like trans panic. And most of the time I see it, the people they panic about are not even trans. It's so weird. I've seen all this kind of stuff, like screenshots from old movies where it's like, oh, this female actor is hunched over. But you can see from this picture angle from the back that only men has this curvature of spine. It's like, what the f Steve, 
Stop, man. Stop, man. Come on. So here is a map of... Is, is this supposed to be flat earth outside the ice wall? All right, let's see. So here are regular continents in the middle, and then there's an ice wall. And then there's another stuff of continent, and then there's another ice wall. There's there's literally a continent called Kek. <laughs> and one called Mumu. <laughs> and then there's Dupachal, and then the Forbidden Channel, and then there's Hell Island, and Atlantis, and the River Snake, which is a really chonky snake, and I can't tell if that's a s literal snake or just an island shape that is. And then there's Zol, which is lost, but we still have a map for where it is. But it's still lost somehow. Man, this seems like a really lit TV show. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really cool map. Not for scientific reasons, but I would watch this if it was a fantasy show. <laughs> Damn, this is badass. Signs of a high vibration. Animals feel safe in your presence. People stare at you in public. Random strangers love to come to you and talk and tell you their life stories. You can feel the energy of a room shift when you walk in. You irritate toxic people just by being your true and authentic self. Do you actually know what vibrations are? Like vibrations in general are just frequencies. So when you're saying high frequency, that is equivalent to a high-pitched sound, if you will. So you could just go around like this. Ah, animals love my presence! Ah, ah. Look at this toxic person not enjoying my presence. Ah, that's just because they don't appreciate my authentic self. Ah. <laughs> oh, here's another person coming to tell me their life secrets. Ah. <laughs> Think, think of what, do you, what do you think vibrations are? God damn it! <laughs> we just come into a room like... <laughs> Ooh, this puppy loves me. <laughs> People stare at you in public. Yeah, they sure as f would stare at you in public. What are you talking about? <laughs> Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this absolutely beautiful video as much as I enjoyed having you here, you beautiful little bean. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it. And I will see you again in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.